<laughs> this is edited. <laughs> That's not going in the cut. Hey guys, and welcome to another chapter of the Malt Chronicles. I'm the host Avatar. I'm Bas, and I'm still learning English, so sorry. <laughs> and this is. I'm David, I'm still learning. <laughs> <laughs> so clearly, it was my turn to pick out the whiskey this week. Now, guys. I think uh, from what I heard earlier, you guys got us some inkling of what's in there. Uh, Devin, Lafrag. I lean more towards Bomo. Bomo, okay. So it's interesting. You're ready for this, boys? Yeah. So it was actually the uh, <laughs> PX Lafrag. Yes, let them see what happened in a blind tasting earlier on today. After a way, isn't it? Wow. Ho! Smoky! Okay. <laughs> now this, my friend, is maturation on Isla. Yes, charcoal, peat, leather, slight honey notes, toast with a bit of fruits maybe. There's sweetness, there's a lot of sweetness. But the finish is there, isn't it? Like, there's a good finish on that because of the peat. That... Welcome to Isla. That's yes. what we're doing here. Ka-ching! Seven, nine distilleries. On Isla. I think there's eight and there's two more due to open. Peanut butter. What the f I don't get any peanut butter in that. What butter. is peanut butter? Posted peanuts, crushed, turned into a paste. Yes. So we start with nuttiness and roastiness. Okay. Oh, you've said nut like ten times. There is there is a hint of nut in the joke. I'm playing games with you. He's a whiskey critic now. Okay. Credit. Critic. That's a dyslexic. 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 That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's like mixing char with nuts and with honey. With a little bit of wood. For that quality, I would pay 40 bucks. Uh, I would pay forty pound for that. Is that forty percent? Is that forty six? Who hired this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Who's your agent? <laughs> Who pays you? <laughs> <laughs> About that. <laughs> <laughs> three point five. Okay, three. Then, Salajwa. The Santori products. <laughs> hey, so <laughs> do you know what? You're not actually far off, David. You you got two things right. You got Lafroig right, and you got quarter cask right. Because uh, <clears throat> this whiskey has actually been through three types of maturation. Now, so Lafroig. Let me just tell you a little bit about Lafroig before we get into it. Yes, it's from Isla and is a bit de whiskey, but. Did you guys know that Lafroig once they actually make their whiskey uh, to get that predominant peat flavor, they actually source it from water that is run through peat. They actually bought the whole estate around that source of water just so they could have exclusivity to that water source. Because um, that's very important to the distillery of Lafroig to have that water source. Uh, another interesting uh, point about Lafroig is what they actually do before they dry the barley, they actually peat the barley first. So they cut up chunks of peat, oh. uh, they let it to dry. Do you know it takes a long time to yeah. dry peat? Mm -hmm. It takes up to about six months, guys. That is incredible. Okay, and well, they, they actually. Months and you have a baby. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So they peat the uh, barley first, and then they dry it. Which is uh, interesting as well about La Floyd. Now, about PX. So you was right in saying that it is, it's actually finishing three maturations. Uh, American Oak, mm -hmm. Quarter Cast, and then finish off in one of my favorite, favorite casts, the Pedro Jimenez Sherry Cast. I love the Pedro Jimenez finish. You will see more why I love it so much. Uh, but in this, it's not so apparent, and I think it's because of the peat flavor really takes over the flavor, and it's got a little hint of petrol in this. Anyway, boys, tell me what you boys think. So, is this a 10 years old that no. then is moved into quarter casks and then it's finished into PX? PX, yep. So, uh, it starts as a 10. 
it starts a bit, uh, as a 10. Yeah, so that's we, right. we it's actually non chill filtered. No, no, no. We almost got the age statement. Almost. Almost. <laughs> almost. It's not age stated. He's right. Uh, and it's actually non chill filtered. And now I believe you said it's not 46. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's actually 48 Jesus Christ, percent. It's, so it's very soft. Nice, eh? 48 percent. Yeah, yeah. Mm. You've got to give them, you've got to give them credit. So yeah. like there must be some maturation in there mm. because of, otherwise you'd notice. <laughs> yeah. Please continue. What about the flavors and stuff you're picking so, up now? Yeah. Well, once you reveal it, you do get more of that fruitier character come through. Mm -hmm. I didn't get so I much. Don't really get I didn't get so much on the blind, but after seeing it, I get a little bit more. Mm -hmm. It's not, but it's not. Once again, it's not apparent. It's not like it's been in that PX cast for a long time period. Yeah. It's been in there for a short while. It has, yeah. It's Probably like, around about. I would say maximum of three months to mm, four months. What would you reckon? I would say. I would say. Hold oh, no. I would say minimum of. They don't actually release that anyway. Two months. Maximum four, <laughs> maximum really? four. I don't think that they spent a long time period in there mm -hmm. because otherwise the, those flavors would come through more in the whiskey. Yeah, you'd get more of that influence yeah. from that because it's it's a very dominant cast. Mm -hmm. The flavor profile that comes through from it is very heavy hitting. Rich. I think that I think that you'd get a, a much more mm -hmm. in depth flavor profile from that. So I would say less time. That's uh, if you will take the lead, a lot of times I was uh, looking at this whiskey, if you take the lead and mm -hmm. if you read it, it says burning candy store in a big pit bog. That, that's in a nutshell. That's actually in a nutshell. It's a good, wow. It's good. It's good. Sweetness. Mm -hmm. Loads and loads of mm -hmm. sweetness. Um, I did not expect a sherry on that, but uh, now I get why the sweetness is called mm -hmm. cask. It's, it's actually more, probably more vanilla than, yeah. than the dark fruits yes. in the sherry. Mm -hmm. But quite impressed on the fact that it's a 48 non chill filter. Yeah. Yeah. You don't really get it. I was, so trying easy. It. I was thinking, is that a 40? No, <laughs> that's a 40%. It's wow. a 48%, boys. Yeah, I mean, I, I have to say, I thought it was 40, it was that clean. <laughs> that was, it was that clean. Do you know what? Actually, 15% of the actual taste is actually due to the source of water running through peat. 15? 15%, 15 yeah. of let the me, Let me write it down. <laughs> yeah, please, please, please. <laughs> anyway, on that note, uh, let's get down to uh, brass tax and we will score this bad boy. We're going to start over with the beard. Beard? I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. It's missing an age statement. Mm -hmm. So we should spend a little bit longer on a PX. No. A Eighty-seven. I think it's a good score. This is a little bit done well. Okay. And uh, that's. Oh me. Um, well, uh, I'm gonna give it an eighty-eight. Mm -hmm. I think there is a lot of complexity to the whiskey mm -hmm. due to uh, sweetness and uh, power it holds. Uh, I actually gave it a solid eighty-nine. Oh. Because uh, do you know what? I'm gonna say this is a grower. I like, I like, you know how much I like, I like the 10 Lafroy again. This it's for me, my favorite island, Lafroy 10. Yeah. Honestly, and I love perfect. a PX cast and I thought, this is going to be the one that I'm going to be, I'm going to be in love with. And it just didn't captivate me at first, but it grew on me. It really did grow on me. So that's why I gave it an 89. So, have you got a, a little fact that you can tell us? If you pay me five pounds, then I might find I'll it. pay you later. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> so apparently the internet says that um, a closed bottle of whiskey uh, stored properly can be kept for more than a hundred years and uh, it's still going to be good to drink. Is that going to be tasting day? I don't know. Now, does it does the bottle has to be full to the neck? Because then I would be like, okay, fair play. But I've heard that as soon as the bottle reaches where it's uh, run now, oh, wait, 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 we're talking about an unopened bottle. Okay, so okay, fully sealed. To answer your question, if you open the bottle, yeah, some people so say it's oxidized as well. five years mm -hmm. max. Mm -hmm. But uh, I would, uh, I never keep my bottles more than a year. So, if you've tried the uh, Lafroig uh, PX, what did you think? Did you like it? Do you like the other Lafroigs that are out there? What's your favorite Isla whiskey? We want to know! So, comment below. Okay guys? So, 
Winnemot Chronicles, we out. <laughs>